and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started but before that if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any of my tutorials okay all right so today's problem is k sized sub array maximum which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and one variable k of integer type as well and what we have to do we have to find the maximum value for each contiguous sub array of size k okay all right so basically for each sub array of size k i have to find the maximum element between it and store it into one array list of integer type and return it at the last okay all right so this is what i have to do pretty simple i guess so basically first sub array of size k 3 is 1 to 3 and in this what is the maximum element 3 so 3 is stored okay after that the second one is this 2 3 1 again here which is the maximum one 3 so 3 is stored okay after that the next sub array of size 3 is this 3 1 4 here which is the maximum one 4 okay all right after that the next maximum is what 1 4 5 so here what is the maximum one five so after that again for this also it is five and for this also it is five but for the last sub array two three six which is the maximum six so six is stored and that is it that is it because like uh, sub array of size three is there so total number of sub array will be only n minus k i guess one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah n minus k plus 1 n minus k plus 1 sub arrays will be there so yeah pretty much simple problem statement is there i think and it will be very very clear to you as well okay all right let's think of the approaches one by one and we will start from the brute force approach so the brute force approach is uh, i will have using i will be using two nested loops for suppose for i is equal to 0 i will start my another loop from j is equal to i till j is less than i plus k basically like taking three uh, sub arrays of size k k in each loops and then to like like suppose i'm treating this much as one array and our using the same logic of getting the maximum finding out the maximum for this array and then finding out the maximum for this array then finding out the maximum for this array in which like brute force approach i think you guys are getting but the time complexity of that approach will be n into k okay and into k and if we will see the constraints here so the constraints will be saying ki arr size can be as greater as 10 raised to the power 6 and k can also be equal to arr size so it can be like the total time complexity n into k will be 10 raised to the power 12 which will give us time limit exceed okay all right so we have to think of our better solution the next solution which is coming in my mind is basically using a priority queue and in that priority queue what i am going to do first of all i will store the top three elements in a priority queue and uh, once um, like the three elements are stored priority queues order will be let's say decreasing order and after that like for the first k elements that order will be that element will be removed okay and after that again like for this again like for the first element i will remove it from the queue and then again this priority queue so one will be added and like the order is in the reverse order like decreasing order so now three will be removed from three will be returned from the priority queue i will not remove three like three i will get from the peak but i will not remove it i will remove the first element like if i'm uh, considering this much sub array so now for the next sub array 314 i will remove this element okay similarly now again i will get the maximum element in the priority queue which is 4 in this way we will keep on doing and we will get our answer okay all right so the time complexity of this again is uh, basically we are using a priority queue we are using a heap so it will be sorting and uh, the time complexity will be n into k log n I think uh, or we can say yeah something like this time complexity and space complexity will be also k because at any time k is elements are stored okay 
all right so i think we can still better our approach okay so the third approach which i am going to tell you is basically n time complexity linear time complexity and k will be the space complexity okay how let's quickly understand it so uh, my two requirements are my two requirements are first of all first requirement is basically in sub array like the if i am considering this sub array so the elements previous elements previous element is what one it should not be present in that sub array okay first uh, requirement is this second requirement is ki yaar look why i why i was using the priority queue to get the maximum element first so can i have a maximum element at first without using the heap without sorting it can we have yes we can have we can achieve both the requirements one and two how let's quickly see okay so i'm going to use a dq and this dq is present as html in both c++ and java you can like any of the language you are using you can use this dq so what dq provide dq provides basically adding and removing from both the starting as well as the end of the queue okay so if this is our queue we can add and remove from starting and we can add and remove from the last as well okay all right so what i'm going to do look first of all i will have a dq let's suppose this is my dq okay so first of all like it is empty so i'm not going to do anything and uh, i will simply add my current index 0 to the dq okay i think i should go to here one note where i can explain it better let's quickly make it and i'm going to explain the in, like i already explained the intuition like what requirements are there and i'm going to explain the approach moving on with this example only so first of all i'm currently at 1 first in element so i cannot do anything i cannot compare it i will simply add the index of this into my dq look i am going to add the index and not the element why because with the help of index i can find out like if i am at like k is equal to 3 okay so if i am at this point i can check ki yaar uh, if i am at this point i will consider the sub array this one 2 3 1 so this zero index should not be present and i can easily remove it so that's why i am using the index in the dq and not the element okay i think this point will be clear so first element is added zero okay now after that i get 2 so you see 2 is greater than 1 2 is greater than 1 and now is there any sense is there any sense to store this one element no there is no sense because one can never be the answer uh, now i have got two so one cannot be the answer any left points which are less than current element which are less than current element can never be my answer now okay so what i am going to do i am going to remove this zero index and uh, now i am going to add one index so one is added okay all right so now two is also done okay now i get three i get 3 so 3 is the current element now when i am getting the 3 look this is my answer as well answer as a list but uh, i am not added anything till now why i am not added because because look uh, i have only iterated two elements and sub arrays are of size 3 so now until i consider third element i will not add anything okay so something like this now 3 i got so when i get 3 which is at two index do i need to add this one index no i don't need to add because one this can never be the answer because i have got now got greater than two which is three okay so i will add second index okay all right so second index is now added after that what i am going to do yeah now look these two element indexes are empty and in the dq first element is second index okay so i will check yeah my sub array is now of like i have already iterated three elements so i can store in the answer what i will store in answer arr of dq dot first element which is 2 so arr of 2 is 3 so 3 is added okay all right after that again uh, i get one i get one so look i will add one to the last because yeah look this two index is at the uh, let me quickly clear all these things a little bit no i don't need to uh last so effect okay and i will remove these as well 
okay so now look this is the two element and now i am currently at one a index this so will i consider one yes i will add one index which is zero one two three three index is now added now you will say why i am adding the smaller element but earlier i was removing it i was removing the smaller elements from the left side not from the right side okay because right side this one can be my answer one when i am considering suppose this index this sub array currently i am considering this sub array uh, so that's why one is not my answer one is not any way possible but when i will be considering this sub array one four five one can be my answer like one is there and then suppose these both are zero so in that case one can be the answer okay i think you guys are getting so that's why i am i have added this third index as well okay so third index is added again what will be my answer arr of first element which is 2 this is nothing arr of 2 which is 3 so 3 is again my answer okay after that what i am getting i am getting fourth four element okay so here when i am getting four element i will remove all the smaller elements from the dq which are present in the left side okay so what a smaller elements are present both this is also a smaller this is also a smaller okay so now this index which is what one zero one two three four four index is added and my answer also will be fourth index fourth index element is also four so four will be added okay all right in this way we will keep on doing we will keep on doing and we will get our answer so this is the first thing which is cons uh, if you remember i told you two points first point was like i should not get any element which is out of the bound which is out of the current sub array and second was here i should always have the largest element at the starting which i have got it okay largest element now is always in the starting let's take one more example now uh, that example is something like five one one and then three okay and my k is equal to 3 as well okay so this is my dq let's quickly make it and this is my answer okay so first of all 5 is my first element is 5 and its index is 0 so 0 will be added okay after that what i am going to do i have got 1 so now look is one index so one index is also added which is let's suppose index is also 1 okay all right after that look till now my result is empty because i have only iterated two elements and i should have at least three elements to get one answer because window size is three okay all right now i get again one so again this index two is added okay all right and now my answer will be also arr of zero okay arr of zero which is what uh five so five is added okay all right after that my i am at three so now when i am at 3 the sub array which i will be considering is this the sub array which i am considering is this so 5 should be removed how can i remove 5 here i will simply get a loop and i will check key dq dot first element is equal to i minus k if yes remove it okay so 0 i i minus k i is what 0 1 2 3 3 minus k is also 3 and dq first element is 0 so it is correct now remove this 0 remove this zero okay so this zero is removed why it is removed because it's out of the bound okay so this zero is removed now i get three so yeah i should have removed now all the elements which are smaller than three i should remove all the elements uh, from the dq which are smaller than three and in the left side of three okay so one index is also removed two index is also removed because these are one one which are smaller now third index zero one two three third index is added okay all right again you see again you see here my current maximum is three and it is stored in the very very starting so this uh, index this is the index its element is also three which is three so this will be my answer i think i have already explained the two points which are very very important those will be clear and the approach which i am going to do which i am going to take will be crystal clear too as well and when i am going to write the code it will be a cakewalk believe me i am going to explain the code so well in so good manner but before that if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel and let me know is the intuition and the approach was clear or not in the comments please do comment it will really really motivate me a lot and like the video as well now let's quickly move on to the code section so first of all what i am going to do i am going to do n is equal to arr dot length okay all right guys if you are coding in c plus uh, the logic is basically same i think you guys can code it 
and i will of course add the c++ code in my github as well okay all right so array list of uh, integer type answer is equal to new array list and this will be my answer which i will be returning okay after that i will be having one dq as well so dq of integer type and let's its name is also dq and it's it's like dq is an interface which is implemented by linked list class in java something like this and after that i'm going to just use one for loop int i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus okay two steps first step is to remove all those elements which are not in consideration now because like if i am considering let's suppose i am at one index so i will be considering this subarray two three one so if this one which is zero index is present remove it how can i remove it let's quickly see the condition so the condition is if not dq dot is empty if it is not empty and and dq dot peak first peak first basically means the first element of dq is equal to i minus k it means it is now out of bound it is out of consideration and i have to remove it so i will simply do dq dot pole first and that's it okay so it, with this way i am going to remove the uh, elements which are not in consideration and second step second step is what second step is to remove all the smaller elements present from the left okay because these are no not in consideration as well why i have already explained you okay so while not dq dot is empty it is not empty till that point and and what look we very very beautifully i am going to write it and and arr of dq dot peak last okay dq dot peak last means last element present in the dq is this less than equal to arr of i if yes remove it if yes remove it because it is not now consideration because arr i will be considered now okay so uh, simply do dq dot pull last okay and this is a while loop which will keep on doing until this condition is true and after that what i am going to do i am going to just add dq dot offer last basically means adding the in the last what i will be add in the last i index okay all right and now i have to add in my answer array list as well but like if i am suppose k is equal to 3 and i am currently iterating over the first two elements i will not add because length should be at least 3 so where it should be at least k size okay so how i am going to check it if i is greater than equal to k minus 1 i will have my answer and that answer i will add in my answer array list so answer dot add what add arr of what if you remember dq dot peak first because first element will always be the maximum okay so dq dot peak first and that's it guys that is it and at last after coming out of this loop i will simply return the answer i think it's crystal clear to you and the code i've already explained please sit with pen and paper and try to iterate it once with your uh, effort as well let's try to compile this once to check if it is getting accepted or not and it is getting ex compiled let's tightly submit it now meanwhile if you have loved the approach please subscribe the channel like the video and comment down how was the explanation this code you will get on my github make sure to check my github out and follow me on github as well that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding subscribe the channel and bye